today. Red Arrow, fucking idiot! Guy? Ah. Oh. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to, you guessed it, the Jobber Pit. We're in the living room, of course, but I know I was meant to do this video yesterday. I know I was meant to have an update video today, but what I've done is I've combined the two. Time codes will be linked below because the chapters feature won't work. But, we're doing the time thing, so this is my review of Hell in a Cell. This was a raw pay-per-view, right? We only had one SmackDown match. <laughs> That's bad. But let's talk, shall we? Let's get the timer. Ding! The opening contest. Becky Lynch, Asuka, Bianca Belair, no denying that this match was good, it was great. Fast paced action, back and forward, multiple near falls, but Becky kept trying to get roll ups during the match and steal the win. And then that ultimately cost her in the end as Bianca Belair tossed her out of the ring and pinned Asuka, which I don't think should have happened. You bring Asuka back, you should have just had Asuka win. And now, at Money in the Bank, both Asuka and Becky Lynch aren't even involved in the Raw Women's Championship title picture anymore. And on Raw last night, Becky Lynch was involved in the 24-7 championship. That's where they were last night on Raw. That's bad. That's really bad. That's, that's how far you've fallen. Raw Women's Champions, SmackDown Women's Champions, and you went all the way down to the 24-7 championship. No. Then we had almost an MVP versus Bobby Lashley in a handicap match. This, but yeah, this, this happened. It happened, yes. Uh, I generally got nothing to say about it. Like, it, it was a handicap match. Cedric got involved because, of course, he did. And Bobby Lashley won by making MVP tap out. So, are we done with this feud now? We done? Finished? Dot com? That's your lot? Done? I hope so. Then we had, I think it was Kevin Owens. Yeah, it was Kevin Owens and Ezekiel. Another feud that just, just needs to be done. Like, we're done with this feud. Kevin Owens won here against Ezekiel, trying to prove that he is Elias. But... The feud is apparently continuing because they're getting a rematch next week on Raw. I don't know why. I don't know why. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want a minute of your time in, in the middle of this video. I know it's weird, but... Whoa, Disney. A channel very close to my heart, as you know. They're trying to get monetized and they need roughly about 1,000 odd video watch time. It would mean so much to me if you can go over, support Madison and Mackenzie, get them monetized. Nothing is more beneficial to a YouTuber than becoming monetized. And supporting not only me, but supporting them as well. This is just a minute little video that I wanted to do. Thank you for listening. Back to the original video. And in the only Smackdown match that we had on this card was Happy Corbin and Madcap Moss.
in a no holds barred match, let alone no table spots, which in a no holds barred match is essential. But this match was just Mad Cat Moss and Happy Corbin, but with a no holds barred stipulation. Shite. <laughs> If you notice a trend with these WWE reviews, let me know in the comments if you notice a trend. And then we got the hometown boy, Ali, taking on Fury for the United States Championship. And because they're in Ali's hometown, you know exactly what's going to happen. And to the surprise of, check my watch, nobody... Fury retained, because of course he did. He did. And then the main event, oh fuck, the, the main event is somewhat what saved the show and the Raw Women's Championship match to an extent. But the main event, Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes. Did you see the size of that fucking bruise on Cody's fucking torn peck? Mad respect to Cody Rhodes. He has been one of my all-time favorites in WWE. And when they talked about his injury during the show and how, oh, Cody's going to still con compete here tonight, I was like, hold on, are you serious? Like, he's injured. And then as soon as he revealed that torn pectoral, I was like, holy, I was like, no, fuck no. You can't be serious. The same thing happened to Triple H. That was weird. The same thing happened to Triple H. And this match was great. Rollins wore a Dusty Rhodes polka dot attire. And he targeted this. Like every time Rollins would target the shoulder, I, 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 I couldn't watch. I was like, no, I can't. I can't do this. I cannot watch this. It's way too gruesome. But thankfully, Cody won. With a sledgehammer and two crossroads, and that, that, ladies and gentlemen, was hell in the cell. Timer stop. And now here's the part that most people wanted to hear: the update video. So if you remember, I mentioned that I had an interview last week. I've now been successful in that interview and I start my new job tomorrow. It's in retail. It is a 12 hour shift. So it's a 12 hour week shift. So I work 12 hours in a week. So I don't know my schedule as of yet. What am I doing, what am I doing this for? Um, so once I find out the schedule, I will let you know because this week is already a busy one coming up. We have Kenobi episode four. We've got the start of Miss Marvel. I still have to review Chippendale. I haven't done that yet. And we're seeing Jurassic Park Dominion on Friday. So there's a lot of stuff that I still have to do. Um, so it's planning everything out just, just for this, this week alone, because there's four videos that we have coming this week and my training that I'm doing lasts for 13 weeks, which I don't know for, I guess three months, two and a half, maybe roughly, give or take, I don't know. And I'm now part of a model railway club uh, on Mondays. So all these things are still tying together. And I, I'm, I still want to do my volunteer stuff as well. So my, my video schedule, it's going to be a very hit and miss uh, thing. Because with all these series and movies that are coming out, I have to now work around the Model Railway Club, the volunteering, the actual job itself. Um, 
So there, there is a lot of stuff that, you know, <laughs> I have to be like, okay, now you have to be focused on this, Ryan. This is a retail job. This is what you've always wanted to get into. Do not fuck this up. Which I know I will, but um, it, it's not intentional. It's not intentional that I want to fuck it up. I still want to do stuff around the flat. And you guys know the, the my motto by now. Oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Yeah, we'll, we'll just watch. Just watch and watch me fail because it's predictable at this point. <laughs> my sleep schedule has been fucked as of recent. My sleep schedule has been uh, staying up to watch pay-per-views, live streaming on Twitch. We now have to try and come up with a whole new schedule for Twitch. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's going to be... It's going to be a rough one, to say the least, but hey, we're going to get through it, okay? We're going to get through it, I hope. Uh, this is what my, uh, this is my fifth job. I've had four call center jobs, and this is now my first retail job. So it could be obviously in now TV. Virgin Media, Mango, and Talk Talk. Those were the four, the four call centers we were in. We left two of them early. I'm hoping this doesn't happen with retail. I know people will shit all over me if I make a video in a week's time being like, so, we're not employed anymore. And the good thing about this, it's 12 hours, so I'm still entitled to you know my universal credit and stuff so this means more money coming in so i don't want to say oh we're gonna go away uh you know to disney or something this year or next year no what we're gonna do is we're gonna aim to go away next year and just seeing this little postcard is just you know put my mind at ease. It is the Megalith Park, which is now the Kathmandu Park, but this is like what? Is there a year on this? 2000. 2000. So this was 22 years ago. <laughs> My god. 22 years ago. And the hotel still looks somewhat the same, just you know bit different but I want to make sure I get away so that so that this little guy can be happy that's that's not me but ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching this video I don't know what will come tomorrow because I'm in from with the train and I'm in 10 to 2 so I'm gonna watch Kenobi in the morning and then watch Miss Marvel when I come back. Just so that way I'm not, you know, late on my first day. Because that will set a good impression, won't it? But ladies and gentlemen, again, thank you for watching. And I'm going to gonna go through these photos. Because there's actually some good ones here. Like me in a pub.